How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Album. Today I wanted to go over a topic I hear a million times every week it seems someone brings this up and that is what do you think is the best rod in the game? And when people ask me that the first thing I like to say is welcome to Fishing Planet. Glad to have you because obviously if you're asking this question you're new to the game. You don't realize that at this point you need a different rod setup for different sizes of fish. If you're going after a really big fish, you need to have a really heavy rod and reel that can handle a fish that size. And likewise, you need a smaller, a lighter setup to target smaller fish so that you get more XP, you get more money, it's easier to get that sensitive bite, all of that sort of stuff. Similar to real life. But today, I'm throwing all of that out the window because this is completely my opinion. What do I think is the best rod in the game and that's what I'm gonna show all of you. This is a rod and reel that you're gonna be using for pretty much the rest of the game and I think that's why I consider it to be the best rod in the game because there aren't many rods that you buy early on fairly early on that you still continue to use later on so that's why I think it's the best rod and that's why I think it's gonna be worth sharing it with all of you so buckle up everyone let's get into it. Here we are, we're just about to go into the Everglades because this is a great rod and reel to use at the Everglades. But I tell you, I have used this rod and reel to catch Arapaima. Here we go. This is the best bass rod in the game. Just saying. Just saying. 24 pound rod and reel, 60 pound Arapaima. What, what, what more can I say? What more can I say? I'm telling you, it works. It just works. It just does a good job. And all it is, is a combination of the Basscaster 7 foot 10, and let me hide my camera here so you can really see. The Basscaster 7 foot 10 combined with the Counselor 3500P and the Fluoro, which is a 25 pound Fluoro here. I'm telling you, this combination, why don't you just go ahead and hit the like button? Because I know you're gonna take off after this and just go get it yourself, but my goodness gracious, this has to be uh, my favorite rod in the game. You Once you get it, you're gonna use it the rest of your Fishing Planet career, because anytime you go for bass, anytime you go for a medium-sized fish, this rod, is, is gonna handle it. It just does a darn good job. So of course, just to give you a little bit more information here, we have the Bassmaster 7 foot 10, which is a 24 pound uh, rod here, combined with a 23 pound reel. We have 25 pound uh, fluoro on here, which you can combine with a titanium leader of 26 pounds, all together, uh, max drag, everyone. That creates that hierarchy of strong line, uh, less a uh, weaker rod, and then weakest being the reel you want to have that line rod reel to have that max drag and that's what you're getting with this combination let's get into the details about when you can unlock this rod and reel combo so that you can use it in your game though so page two of the uh, casting rods here you can see Basscaster 7 foot 10 and it doesn't get any better than that you actually go straight up to these galaxy casts which are really strong uh, feel free to get them if you want but they start out really uh, well, actually this one's better than these other ones it's kind of crazy I guess they're it's just weaker anywho the Basscaster 7 foot 10 is got to be the best bass rod in the game other than maybe this uh, this bait coin version of it um, I just think is if if you're play playing for free like I do um, you know this is the best way to go about it this rod is gonna last you the entire game the Basscaster 7 foot 10 there at level 30 once you get that you're gonna be set man there's no reason to go up higher than that let's take a look at the reel though get into the casting reels here and there it is the counselor 3500 P level 31 so by 31 basically you're gonna be able to have this combo and you're gonna be set man I mean this uh, counselor 3500 P combined with the bass caster it's just it's just a heck of a combo and uh, I think it's time we stop talking about it let's go ahead and uh, try it out in the Everglades it's gonna absolutely destroy everything in the Everglades uh, no problem Problem whatsoever uh, you can even catch uh, a lot of the fish over on the saltwater side um, and you shouldn't have much of an issue which we might try as well uh, a nice unique snook might give us a little bit of trouble eh, just yeah give it a try we'll, we'll, we'll see 
you know, whatever. All right, here we are. Fill the frog in the Everglades. My goodness gracious. Glad, I'm glad I'm not seeing green water anymore from the St. Paddy's Day event. Let's go ahead, toss this bad boy out here. See how we're doing. Overcast day, it says we're partly cloudy. So hopefully, hopefully, this colorful frog does the trick here. If not, we'll switch it up. Ooh, something decent on there. Might be a nice little trophy bass or something like that. Absolutely handling it. You can see down at the bottom right corner, totally max drag here. And it is just pulling them in. Pulling them in this tank. Absolute tank here. Got a, got a lunker of a bass, I'm guessing trophy. I'm guessing trophy. It is a trophy, 7.955, didn't waste any time at all. Might as well go ahead and say here, people ask me what lures I like using in the Everglades. I always start out with the frog. The frog is just a fun lure to use. You can throw it in the lily pads. Once the bites on the frog slow down though, I do like to switch to the buzz bait. Um, and if I try the buzz bait for a little bit, might get a few bites on the buzz bait, might switch locations and try the buzz bait somewhere else. Uh, lastly, I'll switch to a walker. I'll use a walker. Uh, all topwater lures. I, Everglades is perfect for using topwater lures uh, for the bass here, the peacock and the largemouth. That's those are my go-to's. Those are my go-to's. And if I'm uh, if I'm not getting a lot of bites on topwater, which usually I always choose days. Oh, pulled it out of that fish's mouth. I couldn't see it with the lily pads. <sighs> oh. Um, I usually always choose days where the top water is going to do well. And usually with the days of the Everglades, you're, you're going to be fishing good top water days anyway. So, Ooh, big bass there. Good size one anyway. Couldn't make out. It is another largemouth. A little fatty. Pulled out two trophies so far, goodness gracious. Eee, something smaller. Seems wily though. It's wily. A little peacock it looks like. No, it's another largey. Top notch. Well, good deal. Hey, we've got a few anyway. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to another place. And I'm gonna use the walker actually. It's my go-to, go-to lure uh, as I go over here. Uh, I think the peacock really like walkers right over here. Good thing about that walker is those exposed hooks. Better hookups compared to the frog. Don't have to worry so much that they're not gonna get hooked up. Just flipping, flipping. Top notch trophy, butterfly peacock. First to start. I'm catching all sorts of trophies right now. Nothing unique anyway. No unicorn so far. Another peacock, another peacock here. Top notch, another trophy butterfly. Making our way, making our way. Now with the butterfly, unfortunately, the butterfly is just a little too uh, little. You catch unis, uni uh, largemouth and whatnot, you're gonna get great XP with the, with the butterfly, not so much. The, the rod's a little strong for those guys. Ooh, fish on immediately. It's what I like to see, it's what I like to see. There we go, there we go. Little peacock, it looks like. Top notch. We are just catching a handful of these guys under five pounds. But that is all right. I mean, this this uh, this rod is handling it. Honestly, there's three versions of this rod that are lighter weight, and if you want to get one of those instead, these rods are the best. This one might be the best, obviously, being the heaviest of the three, but this combo of the rod and reel, uh, just fantastic. Just fantastic for the Everglades. <clears throat> but you're only going to get a lot of XP if you catch the big ones, which we're not at the moment. So let's move on. Let's go on over here, catch some of these saltwater fish, and see how we fare with these guys. There we go. Hey. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right on, right on. Got a snook on, it looks like. Thinking, anyway. No, it's a tarpon. I think, yeah, it's a tarpon. Hey, right on. That's awesome. There we go. Nice little 20 pound tarpon. So there you go. I mean, you can use you can use up to tarpon here. Uh, that's awesome. You know, you'd be able to have a rod that you can use for the bass and then literally come on over and continue using the same rod to catch a tarpon or uh, the big snook around here as well. Um, I'm thinking it should be all right. And I think once they get up to the 30 pounds and whatnot, I think it'll be a little bit more of a fight, but uh, it, it's going to handle it. It shouldn't be an issue. 
And to prove that, we're going to go on over, we're going to spend some time in St. Croix just to catch some bigger pike, and uh, we'll show how all that works as well. All right, here we are in St. Croix, and you can rent uh, a boat that they have available there. Just get into a kayak. I'm taking this, obviously, but, you know, it does not it's not the boat that allows you to catch the fish is what I'm trying to say. You can catch it with any old boat. Uh, go ahead, just come on over to these lily pads here. I'm using a jerk bait right now. One and a half ounce, six aught, um, larger hook with the pike. Uh, the pike and the muskie, they uh, they like these bigger hooks. Seven aught's usually my go-to if I can manage it. There we go, fish on. Little guy, little guy. 7.744 pound northern pike in St. Croix, $895. I think you'd paid for your boat at that time if you were renting one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They're out here, man. They're out here, and this, uh, this little rod's gonna handle them, even up to the biggins. Hey, there we go. Oh, that's a big fish, too. He's got some weight on him. And this is where that boat is gonna come in handy because we're gonna need to use it to uh, get closer to the fish. As you can tell, at this point, the fish is pulling us, but it's not exactly pulling out line because we're not fishing from the bank. We're in a boat, so that when the fish is pulling us, it's actually pulling the boat. And because of that, we're getting closer to the boat, to the fish, to the point where, you know, in real life, we'd be able to net it. But in this point, we're just gonna be able to pull it right out of the water. Look at that, 14.995 pound uh, Northern Pike here in St. Croix, $1,734, everybody. Pew, pew. I, think the, I think the reel only costs $19,000. You catch 10 of these guys, pretty much paid for the reel. And that's not a hard thing to do. St. Croix is a money maker for, uh, for people, and that's why it's part of that EESS, everybody. It's why it's so important of a place to come to. Ooh, there we go. Fish on. Could be a pike, though. Doesn't seem very big anyway. Ah, it's pulling us. It's pulling us. I still think it's pike. <laughs> hey, another trophy northern pike. 21 pounds this time. There we go. Over $2,400. Crazy. Just crazy. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Yep, sure enough. Another 10 pound northern pike. That'll work though. That'll work. There we go. Let's fish on. Yeah, nice. 16 pounder. Oh, look at that. A tiger muskie right on. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. Another one. Goodness gracious. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. This guy looks a little bit larger. Trophy muskie this time. Top notch. Well, I'll tell you what, everyone, this is definitely working. I mean, it's a rod you can use, like I said, at the Everglades for really big bass. You can use it on the saltwater fish on the Everglades. Come to St. Croix, continue using it, following along with that EESS Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. You can keep going on when you move to St. Croix and start catching some of these muskies from the boat, uh, or the pike. I mean, they're both great ways to make money at St. Croix. The pike more than the muskie, but the muskies are fun to catch. I mean, look at the size of this guy, 30 pounds. And that's, that's just a trophy. That's just a trophy, everyone. But I tell you what, if you think that this combo is going to do you any good, make sure you like the video, comment down below if you're already using it or if you plan to use it in the future. Love to hear that. And if you want to see more helpful videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you get notifications of our videos that come out in the future. If you want to watch us on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. And say goodbye to Heenil, everyone. Bye, Heenil. Bye, bye, buddy. Good job. Good job catching that musky, bud. <laughs> anyway, catch you in the next episode, everyone. Take care. And as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family. Game on.